Hey, get Fox here. Today, I review of 95 overall gauntlet champion Zach Ertz. He's got the playmaker chem uh, and the go deep on a tight end card, which is uh, pretty nice, actually. Um, and he's, we'll go through the stats first before we break them down 84 speed, 88 acceleration, 84 agility, jump at 83 at 6 foot 5. You know, that could be a little bit higher, but 6 foot 5 is very nice. Height, uh, catching 94, catch at traffic 93, spec 93. Route running 93, so he hits that 91 plus threshold for route running, which is so important for those crisp routes. His after the catch kind of stuff is trucking at 86, loses 78, so he's not exactly like Gronk or uh, anything or like uh, won't smash people too hard with the 86 trucking. He'll he'll beat a few people, but Sean Taylor against him, it's not going to be a good time for you. Although he is a big body, 250 pounds, um, you you want that trucking as high as possible in order to run over people. But basically. Um, what I was pleasantly surprised by this car, or I was pleasantly surprised by this car, and, and why I was, was the speed on him. I was actually, I, I didn't expect much, because like, I've seen other cards like 82, 83 speed, very disappointing. Like the Rob Gronkowski card, you guys saw me give a very poor review to that Rob Gronkowski card. Um, and I thought I was going to have a similar feeling with Ertz only being slightly faster, very slightly faster. And I don't know what it was about this 84 uh, number uh, but I, I felt like he could do a clear out route like a lot of my route concepts depend on like this right here is I, I have uh, like this usually I don't pass the tight end here but I was able to find a little hole there um, and, and basically I've been using a lot of the earths for the seam for the clear out and um, he's been surprising something that that I wasn't able to get Gronk to do is that clear out stuff so he has enough speed weirdly enough 84 Maybe it's because he's got 88 acceleration on the card. It, it felt like it was just like the, the bottom number that I needed for speed. Obviously, the more, the, the merrier. Um, but but this, this Ertz card, it felt a lot as I just tossed it up because they got the flag. And it doesn't matter if I throw a pick. Um, it, it felt like this Ertz card is exactly what I wanted the Gronkowski card to be. Um, he seems to have hung on to just about everything. Now, there's some stuff like contested catches. He'll let he'll, uh, um, go or like this pass right here. He'll get that stupid jump out of bounds animation. Uh, but otherwise, like, this this held on the, car, the ball much better than Gronk. For some weird reason, I don't know why this Ertz card is programmed this way. Um, we'll take a look at his traits here. Clutch, no. Fights for extra yards, yes. Makes rat catches, yes. Makes aggressive catches, no. Possession catches, no. Drops open passes, no. Sideline catches, yes. Even though we saw him just jump out of bounds. Uh, high motor, yes. And penalty on discipline. So I don't, I don't know why uh, he played so well. We'll get to his run block and stuff in a little bit. And why he caught the ball so well with me. Why, why he uh, was able to stretch the field downfield. Why he was able to basically do it all. There he's kind of out of the back of the end zone. So high points. I didn't have a ton of success. But I think I'm, I'm, I feel like I need to perfect my high point uh, offense here just a little bit. There's a spin move. His spin move's only at 84. So it's a B tier spin move. But we were still able to spin out the user. That's that left trigger, right trigger spin. That's so nice. Low passes to him. He's hanging on to it. Takes a hit. I mean, he just keeps going. I, I am a... I am a fan of this Ertz card. I I can't believe how much I absolutely love that. I did not expect of this the, this uh, card to play this well for me. Um, it, it's kind of surprising because when you look at the stats, like why is this card going for so much? He's rare, you know. It takes a whole season of grinding to get behind. And there he's he's on the right there, run blocking for us, 86, and and that was kind of surprising too. With only 79 run block, 84 impact. He's got 79 pass block if you pass block him, but he was actually able to uh, seal the edge pretty well there. Um, not uh, leading block, like he just kind of ran in the open field dumbly right there. Uh, but 86 there, again, sealing the edge against some pretty good guys, although that, the cutback forced him into the tackle. Um, there was an insta shed, so that was a loss for Erd. So, yeah, of course, he's not going to be great. I mean, these are just random run plays that I picked out. Uh, there he held him for a th That's all you really want is like a two second hold on that edge. There is, he held him for, what, three seconds maybe while I was getting out there, and his, his guy ended up making the play. Um, but that's because the guys, the rest of the defense got some penetration on him. There he's going to double team, leading up, leading up, didn't find any. Oh, they just got on a chop. Um, so, Ertz overall, I absolutely adore this card. I don't know why. I don't know how he played as well as he did, but he did. So, based on the stats, he'd be like a mid-8s. But the way he played, 9.4. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.